Well, Michael Barry, 18, not ideal, but uh, the horse is certainly in great nick. Yeah, it looks as a bit of a kick in the guts, obviously. You'd like to draw in a little bit closer, but there's a long run down that Flemington Strait, and we just have to be positive about it and, and, and just see, see how the race pans out, you know. I've got plenty of time to work it out and plenty of time to figure out what, what, what part of the field I'm going to be, be in, but he normally gets back in the second half anyway, and he's, he's looking very well, and fingers crossed we can have a little bit of luck and, and go one better. You've jumped on him, a, on him a couple of times since he's been back this time. What's the difference? Just a stronger horse, you know. He, he looks as good as what he did last year, but he's just a lot thicker, you know. He he looks he's an absolute pitcher, you know. His, his coat's his coat shining. Um, he's a really happy horse at the moment, so um, I'm hoping that can transfer into some good form. And his best form seems to be when he gets out beyond the mile and a half. Yeah, that's right. Look, he's, he's a genuine two-mile horse. You know, we saw that last year, and, and that shows it in his form over in Europe as well. So um, I think, you know, a bit of sting out of the track might help his cause as well, probably with a few others. But, um, you know, I'll just go, go off and digest this and uh, have a bit of a think. Who do you think might be your biggest danger come Tuesday? Um, it's probably a bit hard to say. American and, and Dunedin both drew really well, but they've got to carry a fair bit of weight. There's a couple down there. I, like, I don't mind Murray, and I think he's drawn well. Um, he's going to be very strong at the two miles, so um, we just have to wait and see.